Okay, for some reason you're watching this without reading the title first, uh, this is going to be the big reveal. So, today we're going to be painting these silver things. Because they're silver and my car's white. So, these are going to be going white today. So, uh, let's remove them. Okay, so to remove these really technical process, you just kind of uh, grab them and yank them out. So if you ever see someone with an Asian style grill and you want to annoy them, just go pull these bits off and hide them somewhere. I'll need to keep these off the car for a couple of days whilst the, uh, whilst the paint and the lacquer dry. So uh, I'll be driving around like this for a wee bit, but we'll take these off, go and clean them. And here's number two. Number two. So let's go. I've got the white spray paint, two little Asian style grill inserts. I've also got TIG welding wire. This is going to be used to fashion like a little mount so I can hang so I can hang these. I'm gonna loop it through one of these little uh, tabs. So then I can hang it from the roof or whatever, so I don't have to hold it. Anyway, so we got these and this. All that's left to do is get something to clean it with and to clean things that I'm about to spray paint, I like to use, uh, you know, those little alcohol kind of glasses wipes you get. They've got alcohol on it, they just take off all the oil and dirt and stuff, so let's go get a couple of them. These are what I'm on about, little uh, glasses wipes. So I'm going to use one of these on each of those little Asian style girl inserts, just to give them a clean, get rid of all the dead flies and mud and oil and other nasty stuff. Let's give it a good bit of cleanage. You just want to clean this so that the uh, the paint sticks to it. Clean! Okay, now we're going to head outside and uh, look for a little place to hang them. Okay, so now we've got this kind of thing going on. With this hanging down, I'm going to now put a little uh, whoop uh, and a little whoop, a little whoop and a little whoop. So now, you oh, get this, just simply slot it. Oh, I'll say something, my hand's shaking. There we go, one. And here's number two. Where's the thing? There we go. So now we've got an amazing painting situation. Okay, I've got it. Expect a time lapse of me shaking this vigorously for about two minutes. Whew. You can tell you're getting done when the bottom of the can starts to feel really rough, which this one is. So let's spray them. First of all, I'm going to do a cheeky little test spray on the grass. Okay, the paint works. Ah! Safety! Oh, and you don't want to paint the inside of your lines. Bad thing to do. Okay, so here's the after. Alright. Here's the before. So already, just with one coat, you can tell it's looking a lot nicer. So uh, let's paint the other one and get back to it. You can see already that they're... Oh wait, let me take this off. You can see already they're looking white, which is a nice thing, obviously. It's just, I'm going to do a couple more coats. So I'm going to leave this for 15 minutes to dry first, and then a couple more coats just to make it really lovely. And then uh, I'm going to put on the clear coat, and uh, we'll be done with we'll be done with these. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, it's been 10 to 15 minutes. So now I'm gonna go coat number two on these Asian style grill pieces. Okay, that time I. Okay, there we go. That time I gave more of an emphasis to the kind of inside bits that I would have missed last time. The third coat is just going to be a rough coat all over, just in order to get in, I don't know, some bits I've missed and give it a bit more of an even coat all over. Okay, looks like it's just a little shower. Oh, no, it's not, it's just out of raining again. Here we go, the last coat. Okay. Last coat is completed. 
And when you put the lacquer on, you have to wait 24 hours, at least with this spray paint, until it hardens. So this is going in there for 24 hours to harden, and I'll come back tomorrow. Oh, I'm busy tomorrow. I'll come back soon and lacquer this up. So uh, now we're going to put on the uh, the nice clear coat. We're going to put on a few layers so that it kind of oops, so that it kind of stands up to the harsh outside Scottish weather a bit better. So uh, here we go. Okay, let's let that dry for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, the wind has come down just a little bit. So uh, I came out here to apply the third lacquer coat. Uh, I don't really know how many I should apply, nor do I know how many you're supposed to apply, but I'm going to apply another one, because in my mind the more you put on, the shinier it is and the more resilient to stones and like stones and flies and water and like people throwing kettles at it and stuff you know it's just what you got to live with in Invergordon. Let's get the clear coat and put some more on. Remember what I was saying about the wind dying down? It's not really died down too much but I'm sure it'll be fine. It says a well ventilated area and what's a better ventilated area than outside? With the time consuming process, make it, letting these things at rest. Oh, there's lacquer everywhere. Bloody northern. It's been drying for, I don't know, an hour and a half now, just went for my dinner. It feels really smooth. It's not quite as shiny as I want it to be though, so I'm going to put on some more, um, more coats of clear coat, just so it's kind of like, you know, that kind of shiny way that like your car's body paint is. They are looking pretty darn good, so I'm going to I'm just going to leave them overnight now. Okay, so that was coat number five. I'm going to leave that to dry overnight. Oh, where's my... Okay. That's that done for today. Okay, here's an update. It's been two days since I filmed the first bit to give the uh, coats of lacquer time to dry. Um. I've also given it two more coats of lacquer, so now it's got five coats. So yeah, five coats of lacquer, and uh, here they are. As you can see, they're looking pretty shiny, which is really nice. And they're also really smooth, which is uh, just lovely. They look absolutely amazing. So let's take them off of the, uh, like the TIG welding wire. They're so smooth. Mm. So let's take these and put them on. Okay, you're probably wondering where my jumper's gone. It's over my camera so you don't get all the wind noise, or at least I'm hoping it's reducing the wind noise. To put these back on, you simply line up the tabs with the little dimples and just push it right on in there. You line them up and then push. And oh boy, that looks a damn side better. Oh, little chaffed! Okay, going for a bit more of a close-up with this one. So you can see we've got the tabs, and in here you've just kind of got these holes. You see that hole, that hole, that hole, that hole. And so the four of them line up with that, and you simply just push it in. And now we've got white instead of silver. I think it looks amazing! So yeah, little chaff to that. And if you've not seen it already, go watch my video on how to swap your grill for this whole front grill. So, thanks for watching, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow for another daily vlog.